Thank you, Chair. Uh, dear colleagues, Commissioner, first of all, I would like uh, to thank the Ombudsman for her work. Almost two years ago, she has opened the inquiry of the transparency in the Council. She concluded that the current practice in the Council constitutes maladministration, especially when it comes to the fail of the Council to register the positions of member states in the preparatory bodies. The recommendations she made were very reasonable, but the Council did not answer. Can you imagine? They just did not answer to her letter. Uh, therefore, she turned to the Parliament uh, to ask for support. During our first meeting uh, on the issue, the Austrian Presidency promised uh, to address the problem, or at least provide an explanation. But now the Austrian Presidency is over, and they never answered either. Hopefully, the Romanian Presidency will be different. Transparency in the Council has been a topic of discussion for 25 years. Uh, yet not many things have changed. The small victories uh, that were in this area, such as access to documents and public deliberations, were pushed for by the European Parliament and the Ombudsman. This underlines our role in this House, a catalyst for change. While the Council still holds on to the idea that their work is pure diplomacy, uh, the role of the institutions uh, has changed over time. The Council and the Parliament are co-legislators now. Therefore, their practices should be conducted in a similar way. The Parliament has become more transparent. All committee meetings, uh, like mentioned uh, Jolene and just now, are open. All reports, minutes and amendments are available. The positions of absolutely each and every member are clear. It is therefore a logical step that the same should apply to the Council and the Corepa meetings in particular. It is clearly said in the treaties that decisions should be taken as close to the citizens as possible. And especially now, during this turbulent Brexit times, we have to be open and we have to be much, as much close to, to people as possible. This means that all institutions have the obligation to be open and transparent. It's crucial for accountability. There is an imbalance between the co-legislators. As when the public is unhappy about an outcome, member states can easily point their finger towards the parliament because our decisions are known. But what the public does not see, that often the outcome is the result of struggle between the parliament and the council. Perhaps a member state has a very strong position, yet they are blaming Brussels. This is problematic for the parliament and also for media and even national parliaments who are too late informed about the decisions of their governments and the council, if at all. Sometimes they are just not informed. Uh, there are the points we have focused on this report. I would like to thank Jolainen for his good cooperation in the committee. Uh, and finally, I would like to ask uh, the Chamber to support this report and send the message that this House stands for transparent democratic process. Thank you.